I'm Jay Gabrielle, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is brought to you by divatress.com and today I'm very excited because I'm reviewing a wig from Main Concept. So this wig is part of the Melanin Queen collection and this is a Brazilian frontal lace wig and I'm wearing this one in the style MLF05 Ocean Body 30 inches and the color that I have is SR1B forward slash Honey Ash. So as usual, the first thing that's first is the cap construction and as you can see so this one comes with a 13 by 4 inch frontal area which is just so exciting I'm hoping this looks really good when I pop it on my head it has two combs so sort of like just here in the middle area one comb at the back and then it does also have adjustable straps and as you can see it does also come with a really nice cap she has some baby hairs at the back and this is the hairline from the front it doesn't look like it has any baby hairs but they can always be cut in if we want them and here is that honey ash color so the first thing that I'm noticing is this wig is not as big head friendly as what I was hoping it was. So I'm really sad, I'm so disappointed. I was expecting a lot more from this wig and as you can see, like you can see all of my natural hair like just here. Like it doesn't fit my head all of the way and over here it doesn't fit all of the way as well. I would say this is like a small to medium cap size. It's just annoying because it really restricts. This is supposed to be a frontal wig and obviously I can't do like a lot of the styles. It's like, it's fine if I'm just gonna wear it as a regular wig with just like the hair down, but if I wanted to do like, I don't know, two buns here or something, or like a little cornrow, like I can't really do that with the amount of hair that I've got underneath this wig. So that's just something to keep in mind if you two do have a bigger head. God, it feels like pageant hair. This hair is so full. Oh my goodness, like it's almost a little bit too full in my opinion, like I said, it just, it does feel like pageant hair, and I am getting some just initial shedding. So this is how much hair has come out so far from combing it through, because obviously when you first get it, the curls just look a little bit too perfect, so I just like to try and brush them out a little bit. So this is how the parting space looks, it doesn't have any powder on at the moment. So it's quite natural actually, and I do have it on a black wig cap as well. So I've added a little bit of powder to the parting area. One thing I do like about the parting area is that because it is a frontal, I mean you could get this if you just had a 4x4 to be honest with you, but because it is a frontal you can like just not do a straight part which I kind of think makes wigs look a little bit more wiggy. So you can kind of make your part a little bit more like wiggly and it makes it just look a little bit more natural. The only thing is that I'm just really not keen on is the hairstyle of this wig. Like it's just way too much. Like it just looks too... It's just too much. It's too like big, too curly. I feel like it's a little bit overwhelming for my face. Like I'm just not really a fan of it. The hair texture on this wig is like a human hair style mix. And I must admit the hair feels like very realistic. I really like it. So this wig is currently $53 on Diva Tress's website, which isn't too bad if it actually fits you and you're able to really make use of that frontal parting space. If like me, you're not, then it's kind of a waste of money and you might as well just go for a wig that's about $30 in like a blonde tone or something. I I have plenty of blonde wig reviews on my channel so make sure you go and take a look at that playlist next but thank you so much for watching today's wig review i'll be back very soon with another one bye guys Bye.